back for another Jenny Gang YouTube production. Y'all hit the like button. It's so simple. And I know y'all didn't know this, but it is free. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on my commentary. Turn on post notifications. That's the biggest thing. So you'll get my uploads. So I gotta talk about the horror story, the biggest horror story of the week. <sighs> BFG Strap. Yes, you guessed it. So What's crazy about this story is I made a video to it yesterday with like what I thought was the correct information, just taking little bits and pieces of what everybody was saying. And I was like reporting the alleged information and what made the most sense to me. And I kind of was right. Only I kept calling the dude FBG strap, but it's BFG strap, okay? Y'all rappers and these names, sets, whatever. So BFG Strap, a rapper in Texas. Um, definitely not mainstream, but he's associated with Trap Boy Freddy, also a rapper in Texas. I don't listen to these people. The only one I really know is Mo3, RIP to him, and um, Yellow Beezy. But nevertheless, let's get into it. So BFG Strap allegedly runs in someone's crib that he kind of was cool with, kind of wasn't. That right there is still foggy. Were they homeboys? Were they not? Or were they used to be homeboys and they fell out how people do? Kind of sounds like it, but BFG Strap supposedly ran up in Cut a 900's crib, right? And stole money and blicks. So how did um, Cut a 900 know about this? He was smart. He got cameras all over his house, okay? Love it. He was smart in the long run, but let's let's keep it, let's give him his credit for the, a few things that he did. He had cameras in his house, so I guess when BFG Strap and his people came in the house, you know they was wearing like you know clothes to cover them. You know sometimes if you know a person, you know their body language, you know how they move. You know that's what happened. So he calls them, let them know he needs his ten bands and his medicines back. Um, his occupation, I think, was being a PIMP and, you know what I'm saying, getting money as a street pharmacist. He, I guess he kind of was doing his thing. If, if BFG Strap is supposed to be a rapper that's associated with a rapper who is mainstream, why do you got to run up in this man's house? I don't know. But that's what he did allegedly. So this pissed cut a 900 off. So, of course, BFG Strap... I don't think he admitted to it, but he definitely didn't give the money and the blicks and the medicines back. So Cutter 900 wants to prove a point. He wants to pull up and shoot the fair one. Now, shoot the fair one. I kind of had gave him his credit for that because everybody want to pull out the blick automatically. But the black gloves that I seen on his body, on the, you know, edited photo of him laying on the side of the road, kind of makes me feel like you had them gloves on for fingerprint purposes. Because who fights in gloves? That's something that I missed. I don't know. But anyhow, cut a 900. No, he shouldn't have pulled up in BFG Straps hood, but he did. I think it's called South Casey Street somewhere, Houston, Texas. And BFG Strap, this is where his people are. It's where he is. Boom, they get to fighting. Cut a 900 takes yet another L. Kind of feel sorry for this dude. Almost. Gets beat up at the hood. Money, man already took his money, his, his medicines, and... You know what I'm saying? So he goes to the car, grabs the blick, basically sends BFG Strap to the afterlife, but BFG Strap has a home turf advantage. His people, this is alleged, start busting back at Cutter 900. So they busted back, it was a bunch of them. So Cutter 900 is the person who his photo is circling around the internet. I didn't look at the real photo, but like even the one that's blurred out you can tell like he really went through some damage right because there's blood everywhere or whatever so he got hit with you know like a million times with an automatic weapon but so did bfg strap it is still foggy whether cut a 900 
came to this hood with people in the car or he came by himself, right? Because they're saying there was a car beside him still running beside his body while BFG straps people load him into the car because he's still alive and see if they're going to take him to the hospital. But of course, both of them pass away. This is a this is a horror story times two. So after everything started going, y'all know the story starts getting popular or whatever. It got way out of hand. You got old women from that area going live during everything saying, you know, he got his snot box rocked. Let's, let's go ahead and just use that term for this, which he really did. I don't make fun of the dead, but I do got to say this. You rappers must have like a get out of death free card or something, right? Because what y'all do when somebody passes away, y'all go straight to y'all social media, go live. Oh, I'm smoking this. I'm smoking this. As if we don't all have a checkout day here. So get in my comments and let me know if it's something that I don't know where y'all just going to live forever after making fun of this stuff posing in front of murals you know what i'm saying making songs about people that are no longer here i don't really condone that but these two right here obviously they was on demon time that's how i feel i really i really really don't like bfg strap because i can't stand a thief more than anything if you got all this going on you rapping y'all seen the intro what he said it seems like the way, what his intro says left him on a se semen or something like that. You would have thought he was the one that was on the ground with all the holes in him, but he wasn't. He was the one that got took to the hospital. But my point is, all of those words that he was talking just came right back to bite him. So I just want to live my life peacefully, and I don't want to have to feel like I'm beefing with people every day. But obviously, these rappers feel like that's what brings them the most money but who cares about the money that you're getting if you ain't even here to spend it it just doesn't make any sense to me but i am happy to know the real story and how that happened cut an eye honey you is one brave sucker but unfortunately that wasn't the smartest thing for you to do had you went home and took the l I can't say that would have been good either because they were just going to clown him and probably end up knocking him off later. But anywho, let me know what you guys think about this story. Did y'all look at that photo? I was too scary to look at it all the way like how everybody else is. But And I'm most definitely not posting that on my channel. Because like I said, that's, that's scary and woo, we. But anyways, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Catch y'all on the next horror story.